The free market gives very strong incentives to adapt to changing conditions. Why is this the case? It's the case because in the free market, if you don't adapt, you're going to lose profits and likely in the long run, lose your business. Why is this the case? Well, let's look at an example. Suppose we have someone who's manufacturing bicycles and the price of steel goes down and he says, well, that's a nice fact, but you know what? People have been buying my bicycles at this price, so presumably they can afford it. So I'm just going to keep charging the same old price. Now let's say, well, why would that be a bad thing? Well, if he keeps charging the same old price, right? That's bad on a sort of economic level because now people who could have gotten bicycles and something else, can only get the bicycle, right? So you don't have as effective a use of resources. But of course, what's going to give him the incentive to, first of all, notice the price of steel, and second, to lower his prices? Well, the incentive is going to be that if he doesn't do it, someone else will. Right? Because of the competition, someone else will lower his prices, outcompete him, and he'll go out of business. Another example might be, suppose that there's a shortage of iron and you just can't really produce more at a price people can afford. Well, he could throw up his hands and say, well, just won't sell as much this year. Or he could look seriously into the possibility of an aluminum substitute for certain parts. Well, what gives him the incentive to look for the aluminum substitutes? It's because if he can find a good substitute, he might be able to keep selling more bicycles and keep his profits up. Right? So, Notice what's going on here. If the, if the owner of the means of production has a personal stake in his success or failure, he's going to be a lot more likely to adapt to changing conditions because it comes out of his pocket when he doesn't adapt. Right? Another way I sometimes put this is this. The free market doesn't listen to excuses. If you just say, well, iron went up, can't blame me for that, I didn't cause the floods. Right? Well, you can make that excuse, but you're going to make, be making it to empty air. Right? Um, the free market, in one sense, is a, it, it's not a person. It's not a thing in that sense. Right? It doesn't listen to excuses. So you adapt or you lose out. Right? And when your company loses out, you lose out if you're the owner. So the free market gives people a very strong incentive to adapt to changing conditions.